What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Real Life with Denise. Um, it is time to go get my hair washed. So, yeah, come with me. Let me get myself together. I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, I am back. Listen, whoo, yeah, it took me a minute to um come back to record this video. I done left my pocketbook at the house. I done, I mean, anywho, I came on here. Um, because when I'm on the way to get my hair done, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff going on up there. Um, about to get that washed and taken care of. And also, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, entrepreneurship. Like, is there anybody else that's like struggling um, in their entrepreneurship journey, I should say? Like, or ever has feelings of like defeat? And I know it's kind of crazy to ask that question. But I asked that because, um, hold on one second, y'all, I'm trying to turn. Do not try this, you know, while you're driving. My, my stand, for some reason, is not wanting to work, and so I'm having to hold the phone. So anyway, hold on. Oh my gosh, my car, y'all. It's like everything that could go wrong is going wrong today. I do not want to drive in um, stick shift, okay? My car, you can drive it and um, automatic or stick and it just when I turned it just turned it stick shift like where to do that at? anyway but the reason I asked that question is because I am in a place where I feel like I'm doing all the things right um, and trying to figure out what more do I need to do to get to the level of success that I desire now me I desire to um, not have to work my nine to five like my first of all y'all i keep getting sidetracked but is gas four dollars and 19 cents have they lost their mind okay i digress so my desire is uh to not have to work my nine to five and to have time freedom and so i feel like you know i'm in a space where in my entrepreneurship journey where i'm questioning like you know what is taking not what is taking so long but what more do i need to do because i feel like i'm doing everything i'm showing up i'm being consistent you know what i mean and i have two businesses technically three one of them i'm not really working right now um and i think it's because of me per se and where i'm at in my my entrepreneurship journey um with my other two businesses and so you know for me i don't want to be one of those people who have like five businesses and none of them thriving you know what i'm saying and so i'm in a space where i'm trying to figure it out trying to figure out what my next move needs to be you know i'm not in a space financially where i can hire you know a a a, a marketing coach or a um brand and back you know somebody to you know market my products or you know god that thing is full um all those things so i'm trying to figure out like you know at this rate what more um, can I do? Because I feel like I'm in a struggle bus in this part of my journey. Sorry, y'all. I'm all up in your face. Um, I'm on the struggle bus in this part of my journey. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, hold on a second, y'all. What more can I do to not necessarily speed up um, my process, but... You know what can i do and i'm thankful for like right now i'm dropping off three packages like i'm thankful i'm not i'm not i'm not discrediting where i'm at in my journey or anything like that i'm thankful however this particular business um i've been in for going on almost five years you know what i mean and i'm like you know i know everybody's journey um is different some people excel um in their journeys really fast and then others, it may take nine or 10 years, right? So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how much longer do I need to give this particular part of my entrepreneurship journey? How much longer do I need to give it? I know I don't want to give up. I know I don't want to quit. I absolutely love what I do. But, you know, it's okay to say that you are stuck in your, um, in where you are. It's okay to say that. It's okay to be in a space where you don't know what, your next move should be or you don't know um what you should do because you know it's kind of like in, in, in the people that are entrepreneurs you know and those of you 
those people who are may work a nine to five, they may understand. It's just like being stuck at a job. It's like, you know, you want to, you want to, um, what's what I'm looking for? You want to advance in your job, right? And you're feeling stuck and you feel like, oh my God, I'm only at this one salary. You know what I mean? It's the same situation. It's like in my businesses, even though I want the time freedom and I love what I do, I don't want to always be operating in the black. I mean, excuse me, in the red, what, what people say. I don't always want to be operating in the red. I want to know that I will be okay if, you know, I, I quit my job tomorrow. And I'm not in a place where I can safely say, okay, you know what? You know, I got this walk away amount. Boom, it's going to take me three more months to get this walk away amount, you know, consecutively for three months and then I can walk away. No. And I will say that I am a person who, um, like, how can I say this? Seeks instant gratification, if that makes sense. Seeks instant gratification. Like, oh my God, if it doesn't work right now, then, you know, if it doesn't work immediately, then it's not going to work. You know what I mean? And I've had to um, really, really get on myself about that. Like, I really had to tell myself, like, that's just not how entrepreneurship works. Like, you're not going to... Um, start a business and be successful tomorrow you know what i mean however i have been working at my business long enough to where i feel now this is just my personal opinion you know what i mean i feel like after four years i should have a um a following i feel like i should have a space that with my product and the affordability of my product that it shouldn't be a struggle like that's just how i feel i feel like it should not be a struggle for me to move my pro my product is only five dollars like it's not nothing that it's not rocket science you know what i'm saying so i'll be right back i gotta pump gas y'all um give me like two seconds okay y'all i'm back had to pump some gas um so you know i just feel like you know where i'm at in my business like even though that i have an affordable product i feel like i'm just struggling on the on the customer side as far as um being successful right even though i'm showing up every day even though everybody knows what i do right um it's still like you know i don't know what i need to do within my means um to broaden uh i guess my business because i it, it is a it's, it's 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 not i'm not gonna say it's saturated but there is a lot of us who do the same thing so they have their particular customers and different things like that right and so I'm just in a space where it's like, if they can do it, I can do it because they're doing it. So I know that me finding my particular customer base, um, you know, I'm just going to have to figure that out. But I feel like after four years, you know, at what point in time does the light bulb go up? And this is just me having a conversation like, you know, with, with anybody, not just entrepreneurs, but with anybody who may can relate. I don't know who's going to see this video. Um, I am new in my YouTube journey as far as making uh, these type of, you know, videos and things like that. But, you know, if you can relate, um, leave me a comment. Let me know um, what you did. If you are in a space where you are feeling like this and you um, were able to come out of it on the, on, on, on the side, because on the side where you're now successful. And let me say this. These are the things that, you know, some people in entrepreneurship don't really touch on in their journey a lot of times we only touch on you know what's going great you know what's positive all the money because we because it's it's, it's attraction marketing we want people to join us we want people to know what's possible however i feel like transparency is key in some aspects of the journey because i think people need to understand that um success doesn't happen overnight and I, I remember one of my um you know one of my sisters in the business said that it's not what you do overnight it's what you do every night and so that resonates with me because i feel like you know that's just where i'm at i'm, I'm showing up i'm doing all the things right but maybe it's just not my time yet and i'm okay with that and i celebrate others when it's their time i'm, I'm never gonna be one of those people who don't celebrate you know okay sorry so um i'll be lying if i did not say that oh my god you know it's like at what point in time 
does the light bulb like i said the light bulb click off for me and i become you know that one of those people who are thriving in my business you know what i mean and so yeah i just wanted to have this conversation and if anybody can relate um let's talk about it you know i can do you know a series of these um based on you know comments that are left like i said this is a new uh channel for me so negativity um you know please do not display that here you will be blocked i don't even entertain it um this is a space for anyone and everybody um this is real life stuff right that we talk about and so this is for any and everybody who you know may want to voice their opinion and give their feedback on um you know what the discussion is so yeah so if anybody can relate please let me know drop it in the comments please um follow real life with denise if you like this um discussion and videos like this or just real life in general um hit that subscribe button and i would love to hear from you and i will talk to you guys later bye